Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, once again, and welcome to the passing out parade of Cohort 2 for the Cayman Islands Regiment. There are 47 men and women in this procession who have been handpicked to be the new members of the Cayman Islands Regiment. The reservists have full-time jobs will give their spare time to serve the Cayman Islands and the community. Among them are police officers, airport staff, civil servants, bankers, lawyers, and students from Grand Cayman and Cayman Brand. They are being led onto the parade grounds by Major Cameron Proudfoot, Scots Guard, Company Commander, HQ Company, Grenadier Guard. He is the commanding officer of the British Army training team sent to the Cayman Islands by the UK Ministry of Defence to lead the training force. The regiment is being moved into open order now as a way of separating the soldiers in preparation for the inspection. The training team who are the markers and platoon commanders consists of a wealth of knowledge and skill. For Alpha Platoon, Platoon Sergeant, Line Sergeant, Rod Cockings, 1st Battalion, Coldstream Guards, has an interest in guitars. One section. The Lance Sergeant Jack Brady of the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guard. Two sections will be Lance Corporal Mike Fishton, Blues and Royals. Three sections Lance Sergeant Rocky, 1st Battalion Coldstream Guard. For Bravo Platoon, will be Platoon Sergeant Corporal of Horse John McKean, the Lifeguards, who is an avid football fan. One section would be Lance Sergeant Matt Ashton, 1st Battalion Cold Stream Guard. Second section would be Lance Corporal of Horse, Carl Greenhow, the Blues and Royals. Three section would be Lance Corporal Ian Davies, 1st Battalion Cold Stream Guard. Please be upstanding for the arrival of the Premier, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, MBE. Please remain standing for the arrival of His Excellency, the Governor, Mr. Martin Roper, OBE.
remain standing for the national song. remain standing as we will be read the regimental prayer by Major Hun Tsai. Let us pray. Almighty God, who taught us to love thy neighbor, protect us as we strive to protect others and to help us as we seek to help those who are in need. Through fair weather and foul, through calm seas and tempest, give us the courage to choose the moral path and guide us home to our rock of salvation. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. Now there will be some speeches by both His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Martin Roper, and the Premier, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to welcome you here to the passing out parade for our second cohort of recruits for the Cayman Islands Regiment. This is a significant moment for our islands, and I'm pleased to see so many here today to mark this auspicious occasion. The establishment of a regiment during the past year is even more significant and laudable given the very trying environment we're currently living in. And I've said this before, but I feel confident in saying that no other country in military history has ever established a regiment so quickly and during a global pandemic. 
You will recall it was at the end of the summer in 2019 that the concept of a regiment was first mooted to support our disaster management response. So when Mark Lancaster, the then UK Minister for the Armed Forces, and himself a part-time reservist in the UK Armed Forces, raised the idea with me, I quickly spoke to the Honourable Premier, who was highly supportive of the idea. Mark Lancaster visited Cayman shortly afterwards, and it was the enthusiasm and passion of the people the Minister met during that visit that encouraged him to offer the full support of the Ministry of Defence to ensure the realisation of Cayman's plan. And Mark Lancaster has provided excellent support since then and visited some of our junior officers at Sandhurst to attend their passing out parade. The tangible results of the UK support can be seen in front of us today. All the uniforms the reserves are wearing and the training team on parade are all thanks to the Ministry of Defence. Two more of our junior officers have successfully passed out from the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst, the best military training establishment in the world, and hopefully there will be more places to follow. But it is unequivocally thanks to Team Cayman that we have before us a further 48 reserves, three of whom are also from Cayman Brac. The total number of personnel in the Cayman Islands Regiment is now over 100 over 70% Caymanians and 30% permanent residents. I want to say a big thank you to everyone involved in that process. The Honourable Premier for his unswerving political support and senior civil servants in the Premier's ministry for their efforts. Major Proudfoot and the excellent team from the UK, Commander of the Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Watson, his senior team, and Christina and Lisa in my own office. We have turned our ambition into reality. This is a landmark day, but most of all, it's a landmark day for all of you, our recruits. So I want to say very many congratulations on passing your training course. I know it's been challenging, but I also know that you have learned lots of new skills and probably learned a lot about yourselves. The training will have undoubtedly put you outside your usual comfort zone but I know that everything you have learnt will be hugely valuable to our islands, should it be needed. And your training doesn't stop here. Over the coming weeks, months and years, you will have lots of opportunities to enhance and expand your skills in lots of different directions. The Cayman Regiment is developing into a diverse organisation with members of all ages and from all sorts of backgrounds private sector companies, public servants, students. It is a valuable new opportunity for our youth to learn discipline and life skills helpful to whatever career they choose. And these skills are increasingly valued by private sector and public sector back in the workplace. Some of you have cadet corps experience, but others have no background at all in the military or indeed the uniform services. You will find strength in this diversity and all will be a valuable asset that the Cayman Islands can be proud of. Indeed, we've already seen what a great support you are, helping in the early days of the pandemic with logistics and most especially when Tropical Storm Eta hit last year. You worked to help clear roads, support the elderly and vulnerable both in their homes and with evacuation and supported the overall response of the Cayman Islands government. How the regiment develops from here is up to the Premier and Cabinet and the people of the Cayman Islands. But I can assure you that the UK's commitment to be by your side for the long term in a capacity building role is steadfast. So please wear your regiment badge with pride. God bless the Cayman Regiment and God bless the Cayman Islands. Thank you. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are here to recognize and welcome the second cohort of 50 Regiment Reservists to become official members of the Cayman Islands Regiment. 
I am proud of these women and men who bring the Cayman Islands Regiment to roughly 110 strong. Included in this group are three reservists from Cayman Brac, which will provide additional regiment support to the Brac and Little Cayman. Both I and the MPs from Cayman Brac and Little Cayman look forward to those numbers growing in the future. As I told the first cohort of the regiment in August last year, I have dreamed of a Cayman Islands regiment since Hurricane Ivan ravaged our shores in 2004. It was in the aftermath of that brutal storm that the Bermuda Regiment came and helped us recover. I was then a member of the opposition in my first term in office, and I was inspired by their discipline, hard work, and the great assistance they gave to our people at such a difficult time. I was equally impressed this past hurricane season as members of our regiment aided many people as the rains came down in buckets and low-lying areas became flooded. Our regiment worked dil diligently to ensure the safety of all who were impacted by the rainy weather. As I look at this group of fine men and women this afternoon, I see promise of a great future, not only for these islands, but also for you, members of the cohort, as individuals, and indeed, for a regiment as a whole. As I said earlier, this cohort brings the number of regiment members to well over 100, and just in time for the 2021 hurricane season, which will be here before we know it. The weeks of training this cohort has had has taught the rest the recruits military skills such as drill and living in arduous conditions, map reading, first aid, basic water rescue, humanitarian and disaster relief training, and most importantly, how to work effectively as a team. I thank the trainers who came here from the United Kingdom and went through the rigors of quarantine to help guide the men and women who are passing out today. I am deeply sorry that you all are being required to leave so swiftly after completing this course without being able to enjoy the sights and scenes and opportunities presented by living and visiting these islands. Hopefully there'll be another time. New regiment members, as you go forward, I encourage you to remember what you've gained from that training and use it for the benefit of these islands, a regiment, and when called upon, for a wider region. You are now joining the first cohort to take up an awesome and important responsibility. Everyone, no matter their rank, has an important part to play in the continued success of the Cayman Islands Regiment. Keep your motto uppermost in mind, in arias, Paratus, prepared in adversity, and always be prepared to do your duty and to aid your fellow Caymanians and residents when any disaster strikes. I am proud of each and every one of you, and I want to single out two Caymanian junior officers, Nathan Dack and Tyler Lawson, who both attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst late last year. They both commissioned as second lieutenants Second Lieutenant Dak being awarded the title of Best International Student. This is the second time that a member of the Cayman Islands Regiment has been awarded this title, and I am sure that the tradition will continue into the future. These two officers have worked diligently since their return from the United Kingdom and are today being promoted from Second Lieutenant to Lieutenant. Very many congratulations. As the regiment continues to grow, I am assured that it will have a positive impact and play an important role in youth development and leadership in these islands as future young Caymanians and residents join up under the leadership of Lieutenant Theo Kelly, Lieutenant Gabe Rebis, Lieutenant Denise Kelly, Lieutenant Jonasi Swebe, and Lieutenant Halston Farley, 
and our two new lieutenants named today. I commend Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Simon Watson, Operations Advisor Lieutenant Colonel Simon Spears, Major Andre Mondesir, and the Regimental Sergeant Major David Shelton for their continued leadership. Members of the Cayman Islands Regiment, I salute you and wish for each of you a great future. May God continue to bless the Cayman Islands Regiment and these beloved Isles, Cayman. The governor and the premier will now inspect the regiment and hand out the rank slides to the new corrections of the recruits. This marks their successful completion of the two-week training course and officially recognizes them now as troopers in the Cayman Islands Regiment. The governor is escorted by Major Andre Mondesir, who is the squadron leader of the Alpha Squadron. He is also the deputy managing director and general counsel of the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority. He is a former high court judge a barrister, an attorney at law with over 25 years experience. The premier is escorted by Lieutenant Gabe Rebess. Lieutenant Rebess is a graduate of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and is the current adjutant of the Cayman Islands Regiment. Lieutenant Rebess has many years of service with the RCIPS, including involvement in the Firearms Response Unit and the Training Development Unit. The Premier is now presenting the award for Best International Student to Lieutenant Nathan Dack. This was awarded to Lieutenant Dack after his successful completion of the commissioning course short at the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. Lieutenant Dack was a cadet whilst at boarding school in the UK and has always enjoyed the outdoors and activities that a role in the regiment exposes one to. Lieutenant Dack is a Sustainable Development Officer with the Cayman Islands Government Department of Environment and enjoys beach volleyball and scuba diving. The governor is now awarding the best recruits of the Cayman Islands Regiment Cohort 2 to Trooper Shanika Campbell. Trooper Campbell is a supervisor at Travel Cayman, has great interest in the construction industry, enjoys softball, and is an avid fitness enthusiast. As the Governor and the Premier continue their inspection, they will be joined by Lieutenant Jack Robertson McLeod, who grew up in Kenya, plays polo for the Army, and has competed for the Army in bobsled. Alongside Lieutenant Robertson McLeod is Captain Luca Vincenzini, who also grew up in Kenya, plays rugby for the Welsh Guards, and is the anti-tank platoon commander. The training team have a range of extensive experience on operations all over the world. Also on the parade today is the band from the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service. A familiar sight and lots of events of this kind. So we would like to say a big thank you to them for turning out and showing their support. Also, for general knowledge, one of the key aspects of military training is foot drill, or its drill as it's become being known as marching. It stems from the time when soldiers would march into battle, gather in formation, and then be expected to re react to words of command once battle commenced. Much of the drill done today is ceremonial, but it still remains a core part of training in the armed forces because it's said to instill discipline.
As mentioned before by the Premier, the past two weeks have been a tough one for the 47 reservists who have undertaken a specially designed training course, which includes the following. Physical fitness, drill, field craft, which taught the recruits how to look after themselves and their kit on the outside without power or shelter. Navigation and communications to ensure that the recruits now know how to use and look after radios and understand the importance of clear, concise communication. And most importantly, for their key role in Cayman, they have undertook a three-day exercise in the bush to understand how the regiment would work with other Cayman Emergency Services and other UK Ministry of Defence units should a hurricane or other national disaster occur. The exercise was based on casualty evacuation, finding injured persons, triaging their medical needs, calling for support, and then facilitating the injured person or persons onto the helicopter for transport to a hospital. The regiment's motto is in arduous paratus, meaning prepared in adversity, and signifies the key role and the responsibility of the regiment, which is to support and serve the Cayman Islands in its times of need. During inspection, both the Premier and His Excellency the Governor so may stop and interact with the new troopers, inquiring about their time during training. As you can see, they're standing very disciplined, body straight and erect, no movement. Also on parade today is Drill Sergeant Benningson from 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards. So the Drill Sergeant is responsible for all ceremonial duties and acts as the Operations Warrant Officer. Drill Sergeant Benningson's special interests are football and fitness.
Please stand for the salute and the departure of His Excellency, the Governor. Please remain standing for the departure of the Honorable Alden McLaughlin. You may be seated. Thank you. The parade is now moved into close order in preparation for the march off. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's parade. Thank you for coming and making this a special day for the regiment and its new reservists. We invite you to proceed to the John Gray High School Gymnasium for some refreshments. There will be new opportunities to join the regiment in the coming months. Contact details are on the back of all your programs. Good evening and goodbye. Be safe.